What's up guys and welcome to Build the Ecto-1. Uh, in this video we are going to be doing stage 17. Uh, this doesn't look like it's going to be a long video guys but it is going to add so much detail to this vehicle. It's unbelievable. So in this stage you receive the right front wheel and tyre ready to be fixed to the suspension of your vehicle. So can't wait to do that with you. Uh, you will need to go grab this. We won't fast forward through this guys because this isn't going to take long to get them out. You do need to do a parts check. And the only reason I stress so much about doing a parts check is because your parts build like this they're mass produced and sometimes they forget to put things in so you want to make sure that all the bits are in there um, you just got some CM screws so they're not too bad so they're just there like I said opening these little packets if you struggle just get them in between your fingers twist and they open straight away LM screws just there do not get them mixed up and then inside this packet we'll just ha quickly have a look at it let's just open it the white wall wheels on these are so good, and the model is so good. So much detail in this one. So you need to have um, all your pieces. So let's get them out and then we'll do a parts check off. Looks like you get some extra bits, some little hoses, so they weren't in the last wheel. So there is going to be some more bits that we're going to have to add on to this, I guess. So that goes like that. Okay, so 17A will be uh, the right front tyre. 17B is going to be the hub cap, which is this plastic piece here. 17C is the center cap, which is that little tiny one there. Uh, and then 17D is the outer wheel, so that will be this one. Uh, 17E is the inner wheel, which is that section there. 17F is the right brake fluid hose. One of those. <laughs> um, are they, is one really long, one really short? Well, yeah, so 17... F is the uh, really long one, which is this one here. And then 17 G is going to be the left brake fluid hose. So there you go. So I don't know if you can straighten that out or how well you can straighten it out, but um, I'll try to straighten it as much as I can. But at the minute, it just wants to curl up. So we'll leave them right out of the way for the second. So then you have to flick through your magazine. I love how everything is in one magazine when you do four issues at a time. It just helps so much. So what it wants us to do is it wants us to uh, put the wheel together. So we're gonna do that now. I just need to get to that stage. So here you go. So we just need to make this figure up. So the first thing you wanna do is take the tire like this. You wanna make sure that everything is round the right way. So on this is asking it to, ha it doesn't really matter, I don't think, tread pattern wise is exactly the same but just go with how it's showing it so where the firestone is there is asking for the little um the little valve cap there to be the opposite side to that so we'll just pop that in there like that so they line up really nicely so you just click it in like that then you need to spin it around the other way when you have it up the other way you need to take the inner circle uh, that lines up with these three screws on the back here so you just need to push it in so that it lines up really nicely with those inner screws and then like that so if they don't line up you're going to struggle because you're going to not be able to turn that around so you need to make sure they line up really well the cm screws will hold this into place i will fast forward through this bit because no one really needs to see us put three cm screws in we're going to go do that and we'll be back in one sec There you go, so the CM screws are now in. Like I said, you need to make sure that that's pushed together really well, either side, or you will have a lot of trouble, and you do not want to have trouble, trust me. All right, so you've got one, two, three screws there. So once they're in place, what you need to do now is to attach it to the vehicle. So this is gonna be really cool. Uh, you wanna use your LM screw to do that, so make sure you get that. So I've now got that here. That's the LM screw ready to go and here's the vehicle so you just need to sit it up and it goes over the top of there and then sits into place like that they fit in really well and then the hub cap goes on next but what you want to make sure you do you need to line up obviously um, the little valve cap make sure that that goes in the hole of that because you don't want to break that off once that's once you're happy with how the position of that is then you put your LM screw in. You don't put it in before the hubcap because it holds the hubcap into place as well. So then you just do it up until you are happy. Don't go and over tighten it. I did go quite tight on the last one, um, but this one is just gonna see how far we go. Because I mean, obviously we want the wheels to spin, um, but we don't want them to be wobbly. They're not wobbly at all, so that's perfect. So I'm happy with that. So as you can see, um, 
they don't really roll very well. So what you need to do is you just need to sort of unloose, well, loosen them a couple of turns until you're happy with the roll, and then until the, it rolls back as a forwards. As you can see now, it goes back as a forwards fine. It is locking up a tiny bit. But with the weight of the car on there, guys, that's going to um, be no problem for that to turn because the weight of the car will hold it all down and then it will start to spin. So, right, so I'm happy with that. So the first, the net, well, the last bit on this, this part of the wheel is to just put the center cap in. So I'm just gonna quickly pop that into place so that that's in. So that's the center cap in place, there you go. And then what we need to do is move on to the brake cables. So we need to go this way around and then it's asking us to put the brake cables in place. But it looks like it's gonna be a bit of a fiddly one. It's gonna be fun by the looks of it. So well, the first one is the long one and that goes from the top of the wheel. I'm trying to see if there is actually, okay, I see where it goes. So it goes from the back there. Cause on the back of the plate, on the back plate, there is um, that piece where it pushes onto. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, just open the end up so it's a little bit easier for me to do. So I'm just gonna do my uh, little trick where I open the end up with the tweezers. So just sort of like push it onto the end there. You can see like that. Push it onto the end there, and that will open it up a bit. And then do the same on the other side. It doesn't open up too much. These have never fallen off on me yet. So, And if you want to make sure they stay on, you can super glue them, but it doesn't really need it, to be fair. Some builds need it. This one really doesn't need it. So I'm going to go pop this one on and show you where it goes. So that's what it wants us to have it looking like at the end of um, that issue. So it should look like this. So it should have the um, the cables going like that. So as you can see, one of the cables, the short cable goes off and goes into this junction box here. The bigger one goes off there and then goes down into that junction box there as well. But that's what it should look like at this stage. It's looking such a beast. Put it that way around, maybe. There you are. So in the next issue, we're going to be fitting um, the front chassis. So the front parts of the chassis are going to go on. We're going to get to do that. I can't wait to do that with you guys. If you love this video, please remember to uh, like. Please comment down in the comment section below if you're building this as well and you want to talk about some bits. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.